Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Godlike Sunday's the Cinco de Mayo edition. This is Barzad with <laughs> Ilgamesh here. Ilgamesh is here with me. Uh, we're getting ready for Winter's Finals in Street Fighter 4 at about th 4 o'clock today. Is it get, yeah, we're getting here a little late today. Yeah, it's a little bit later. But uh, here we have High Wind, Michael High Wind. I don't know Mike's last name. No idea. Versus Adrian Da Truth. Adrian seems to be like our consecutive winner for uh, Street Fighter 4. At this point, he's won like the last three Street yeah. Fighter 4 tournaments. But uh, the last person to beat him was, in fact, High Wind. So this would be an interesting match. Just a few minutes ago, I tried to hardwire all my cami knowledge into Adrian because I just had to play uh, High Wind in a mirror match first round this tournament. Well, I mean, like, especially with Adrian, he's normally used to that that match just because he's when he likes to check and make sure his links come out before he starts the actual match. Adrian's showing off his fancy roundhouse combos he was doing last night. He shows them off every once in a while where he has that weird link off that close standing roundhouse. Yep. And it's really, it hits different people differently too. Like if you get someone built like DJ, yeah. it won't hit him like someone that's built like C-Viper or Cammy. Uh, here we go again, the first game underway. Winner's finals, loser will be sent to loser's bracket of course. Winner will go on to Grand Finals. Mike playing Cami on the left. Ryu, or Adrian playing Ryu on the right. Ryu playing Ryu. Yes, Ryu playing Ryu. What, what do they call him in Asura's Wrath? The Eternal Challenger, Adrian the Truth. <laughs> Adrian always wearing that battle damage costume. Adrian getting a little dicey to close in the distance first between him and Cami. Not the best idea. Keeping the pressure up to a point, though. He doesn't want to do it too Ooh, much. Good uppercut read there. Iwin's gonna do as much as he can to get that first meter, and then you're gonna see him become a lot more daring. Ooh, nice punish on the whip focus. Overhead connects on Adrian's end. Ooh, Iwin uses that first EX meter. Good throw from Adrian. Here comes the setup. Good safe jump. Iwin blocks it, gets pushed back out of the corner. You, know, you don't see Adrian miss too many of those cross up tatsus. It was a good confirm from Iwin, but it was just a little too little, too late. Adrian is speeding on to the next round. Jam into my headphones. Ooh, Highwind gets a little dicey with that EX. And used it when he was completely out of range. Good link there. He's gonna go for a setup here. Adrian managed to block the cross up. Drop the link though. Adrian needs to be careful with those Dukens. No setup for Mike there. Ooh, Adrian got too antsy. Ooh, Mike dropped the combo. I have a chance to kind of come back in. Adrian trying to shift the momentum here. Very good job from Mike there. Spaced him out until Adrian had no choice but to jump. That was a really good showing from Mike that round. Yes. Mike got three of those EX meters. Very dangerous. Adrian's going to have to be careful. There it goes. Big damage from Mike. Here comes the setup. Adrian chooses not to quick rise. Very good, very, very good point from there. Ooh, let's him in again. And there goes the dizzy. Adrian's gonna need to kick here. Ooh, there's High Win closes game. it out definitively. That's the first game for High Win. Since this is winter finals, it's only two out of three. Grand finals will be three out of five, however. Getting right back into it, no time in between. See what Adrian can do to change gears here. Very good back dash from High Win. Lost a lot of great life there. Adrian dropped the link. Good punish from High Wind. Link into the sweep. Adrian ready for the EX dive kick that time. Oh, that was a nice anti air uh, stand. Uh, sweep. Cross up Tatsu from Adrian there. You'll notice that High Wind is really aggressive when he gets in, but he doesn't really know how to defend himself when it comes to it either. Yeah. High Wind looking on the fence here. Looking for that fireball for that ultra to come through. Adrian being really careful, looking for his chance. Ooh, Adrian taking first round of the second match, looking almost identical to the first game. That was a really gutsy fireball at the end, though, honestly. Ooh, very bold spiral arrow. 
sure what's going on with Mike right here. Good tech from Adrian. Nice cancel. Mike reads the focus dash. Good link again. Mike's just getting in there. Like he's not giving any time. There goes the dizzy again. Once she's in, she just needs that one deadly blow. Adrian needs to learn how to keep her back out. Learn the pattern. Mike taking second round with chip damage. If he can win this round, he'll close it out and move on to grand finals. Very good read from Mike there. Links into the sweep. Go for another setup. Adrian blocking the wrong way. Ooh, the unblockable. There's another dizzy for Mike. This could be it. See how much damage he tries to go for here. I think he was trying to be fancy there. Adrian attacks on his ultra. Puts Cammy bet around. Uh, he, he was going to try and do uh, the cannon strikes over and over again. Because when the, when you get a dizzy, they're a little more, they're a little less scaled than those. Uh, crushes Adrian's failed link. The spike. Mike is out of EX. If Adrian needs to do something, this is the time to do it. There he goes. Mike has that one at EX. Ooh. Jump around Mike house. closes out the game. We'll move on to grand finals. Adrian. Stay there, Adrian. Adrian. Mike will move on to grand finals. Adrian will be going out to lose his racket to face Brent the Immortal Whirling.